First, I'd like to ask you your first name and last name, okay? Marita Bernice Paris Torres. In summer school, I was playing green light, red light. I fell and then I started crying. I told my mom that it hurt it. Then she took me to a clinic and the doctor told me to stand and I stand. He told me to jump and I jumped and he told me to walk and I walked. And then I went home, but the next three days I told my mom it kept hurting. So then she took me to the hospital. They told me that I had cancer and it was a tumor. Nareda was diagnosed with non-metastatic osteosarcoma. It's a highly aggressive um, bone cancer that is one of the two most common types of bone cancers we see in kids. She was then started on treatment, which included first chemotherapy that was all inpatient, all right. Thanks, Nareda. followed by removal of the bone tumor surgically with placement of a prosthesis, and then followed by additional chemotherapy inpatient to complete a 29-week course of treatment. Deb! Yeah. How are you? Good. Good. I love Nareda. <laughs> when she first came to the hospital, she was timid, shy, withdrawn, scared to death, um, did not like staff. Are you my nurse? I am. Yay! Two. When she comes to the hospital, she kind of just kind of hobbles in, okay, let's get this done, and happy and tools around and smiles and just it, that's been real fun to watch with her. One of the things that's extremely important when somebody is going through treatment for a life-threatening disease such as cancer is to treat not just the cancer. The cancer is not what we're treating. We're treating the patient. Mm -hmm. Children's takes care of the whole mind, body, soul, Coming here, especially with uh, a child that's maybe have a, a diagnosis of cancer, that family is have, like, worried about the right kind of the right. medical piece. And in child life, we want to get back to that childness of you or that teenness of you because that's what's going to help you cope. It's about giving them tools to manage this experience so that they can be successful, like massage therapy, integrative medicine, doing aromatherapy or biofeedback. They may work with a music therapist on, on finding words that make them feel calm. Hey, you are good at that tampering. You are. We also have the in-house television program that gives kids something to look forward to and be involved with. Nareda, you're awesome. Thanks for calling in. Call us later in the show, too, okay? Okay. Okay. Awesome. Bye, Nareda. Bye. We want to just empower that family to use their strengths. Everything is strength-based. And, and we know that integrative medicine uses all of those techniques, all of those senses to help that child and the family. It's not just hard for me, but for my family too. Because my brothers have to stay sometimes away from me so I can come here and get my chemos. Children's really understands that families come as whole units. You can't take the child out of the family, and you can't take the family out of the larger their larger community. We have social workers and psychologists who can deal with family dynamics and make sure that the parents are coping as well as possible, that the other kids in the family still feel connected to the child and to their family. My mom, she doesn't talk English, and Stefan's there to help her. And should I send them to our pharmacy? ¿Quieres surtirlas aquí en la farmacia? Sí. Yeah. <laughs> we need to make it home-like. We need to make them feel that everybody in that family has a place. Thanks to God, I'm going to be able to walk again. I feel very strong and happy because I'm going to be done with the chemo. 
75 to 80 percent across the board of all children diagnosed with cancer are likely to be cured. That's a remarkable figure compared to, say, where we were 40 years ago. Nonetheless, that still means that one out of four children might not be a long-term survivor. And that, that is a difficult part of the nursing that we do, but I think you know that you're able to help the next family that comes, so that's what keeps us going. It's important for us that we continue the knowledge journey, that we continue to add and we continue to publish, we continue to spread the news about what we're doing. And the only way to do that is through scientific studies, through publishing, through presenting, so that if what we're doing does make a difference, we want other people to take advantage of that as well. And that's our goal. Creo que he aprendido a valorar muchas cosas. I think I've learned to appreciate many things. And I think our future will be better, starting once my daughter finishes her chemotherapy. We feel sure of ourselves, and we believe that we'll make it, no matter what comes our way.